Let's try the tunes. All right. And now we pause. It's tour the tunes. I'm your host, Sarah Morris. Folks come to my big green bathroom somewhere north of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we sing a little, we talk a bit, we put it out on the internet. Just in time for your Friday afternoon. Of course it's the internet, so you go on and watch it when you choose. And that was our pause. I'm Sarah Morris. I invite people into my big green bathroom. People like Nate Dungan. Hi. Fun Nate, to be here. Nate Dungan of Nate Dungan and also Nate Dungan of Trailer Trash. That's me. And we're going to sing a song for you and then we're going to do some talking. All right. Here okay. we go. Rita was 16 years, hazel eyes and chestnut hair. And she made the Woolwork County shine. the eyes of the fire. 
hours of the fight and They will see hours of the fight and dine. Well, you're giving me a high five. There's a high five. All right. All right. Night Duncan, everybody. <laughs> Nancy Griffith. Beautiful song. Oh, my God. And also, I think we don't often get enough songs that kind of show the elasticity of a love story. Like, there's a big foible right here. Right. Right? Yeah. And they still decided to return to one another. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That was a foible. It's a big foible. And, uh, you know, all because someone took a shine to her hand. What a hand that must be. But, um, <laughs> but I just think sometimes this story is like everyone broke apart. And sometimes the story is actually people just keep finding each other. There are as many stories as there are people. I mean, yeah. everybody has their story. Everybody's unique. And in this particular story, they got back together. Greed and Eddie forever. <laughs> and, and, and now they are still waltzing, still dancing at the end of the song. I now want to have someday two basset hounds named Reed and Eddie. That would be beautiful. <laughs> That's a, I'm declaring that dream. Well, you could have uh, Loop and Lil, like in that song, uh, uh, yeah. If I Needed You. Oh, yes. That's just the Tom Van Zandt yeah. version of him putting two dogs in a song. Just a reference there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like it. Anyways, we're Anyways. not here to talk about our future docs, but we are here to talk about a lot of other things. Nate, I've gotten to know you for, you've been my boss. Let's be just, we're gonna, you've been my boss for years. At the State Fair. At the State Fair. Right. But also, you are uh, a musician of, of renown in the town. And now we're playing together. And now we're playing together. In the green bathroom. In the green bathroom. One of the reasons is because you've got a show coming up in a different green room, not as famous Ooh. as this green room. <laughs> Not the green, That's big right. green bathroom, just the green room. Less words. Uh, you're going to be playing, your band Trailer Trash is going to be playing with Old Country Buffet on April 26th at the green room. Yes. In Uptown, which is a big, big space, so there's lots of room for dancing. Yeah, it has a beautiful dance floor. Yeah. Two floors, uh, like a balcony, a uh, couple bars, it's got food. Uh, it's a great place to present music. It's That's a lot awesome. of fun. Tell us, how long have you been trashy? The band Trailer Trash has been together since like 92, 93, 94, somewhere in there. I, you know, we lost track, but it's, sure. uh, it is a way of life. We've been together so long. Yeah. And that's really, the, it's because it's a way of life. We have some, we have a lot of fun hanging out together. It's, mm -hmm. it's, you know, the guys are great musicians, but more than that, we're, uh, we can stand each other. We can hang out <laughs> together. We, we enjoy each other's company. So it's, uh, it's like a bowling team or a softball game that never in a poker game that uh you know people get together and play yeah poker why not get together and play music so that's a D&D &D campaign that's a trendy thing right now oh. so that's to be another version um you guys are you have epic holiday shows every year it gets more and more epic a trashy little christmas where you'd have more and more venues that you, you sell out more and more times. Oh, it's it's a it's a whole heck of a lot of fun. It is. <laughs> it is. And then what else? I mean, you're kind of around the town. Like you, there's yep. not a standard place people can find you. Yeah, we used to play at Lee's, the dearly departed Lee's Liquor yes. Lounge, as everybody knows. And so now we are like everybody else, wandering the earth, just looking for gigs. <laughs> we play a lot of places in town. You know, we're very lucky. Yeah. 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 You are from Tennessee, am I right? Originally. Yeah. How long have you been? East Tennessee. In Minnesota, East Tennessee. Shout out to Knoxville. Go Big Orange. Go Vols. Right. Vols. Vols. <laughs> when I first, when I lived in Nashville, I felt, I feel like one of the things that I was, that came to me was that people, anything that was a Ville, Knoxville, Nashville, I wanted to say Ville, uh -huh. people are a Vol. It's a Nashville. Vol. Right. Knoxville. Marble. Marble. Crossville. Clarkville. Cookville. <laughs> it is yeah. all of them. Bulls. <clears throat> Bulls for days. Right. Um, how long have you been in Minnesota? How long have we had you? Oh, oh, cripes now. <laughs> About uh, <laughs> 40 winters, I suppose. Eh? Yeah. That's good. That's well, good you got your vowels. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you've gone backwards. When I went, when I moved to Tennessee, people mocked my vowels, and so I got rid of them, and look at how you've earned them. <laughs> well, you, uh, <laughs> you, you assimilate. You have to work right. with the... With the dialect, you try and fit in. <laughs> I mean, I'm an indentured servant here for all these years. It's easier to get a job if you don't walk in and, and uh, sound like, a, like, well, don't scare people. 
<laughs> hey y'all, I saw You're the not sign out scary. the window. Right, there you go. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I made you a coffee. Can you yes. show us that I made you a coffee? And there's a reason for this. This is a delicious cup of coffee. Right yeah, here. that's a minimum wage Tim. He was recently on Toilet Tunes. You might have seen him sing a song with me. Uh, minimum wage Tim's coffee. I got it through our sponsor, Winno M N. <laughs> Winno. Uh, you can put your coffee down. Cheers. You. Cheers. Uh, you can drink sip. it. Just a little Slam sip. it. No, um, Winno is a coffee roasting oh, subscription good. service <clears> where <throat> once a month they will send you to your home coffee from a Minnesota roaster. And they rotate them. And if you use code Stay Toilet Tuned, you get five dollars off your first bag. And they make it like there's no commitment. I think you should feel committed in your heart. But if you are scared to try something of a subscription model, don't be. There's not. Yeah, you just go in there, Stay Toilet Tuned, give it a try, and be delighted by the coffee. Right now, the April Roaster is Norte Cafe, which means it's Colombian. Um, and uh, then we still have minimum wage tin as well because oops, this coffee was great. So, on um, Toilet Tunes. There's one other thing, actually, before we get into the real thing. Yeah. We have to show our poster. You're going to be at the green room, but another gig you're very excited about is on May 11th. We are, our bands are both playing a show. That's right. Twain Fest. Coming up. Palmer's Bar. Yes. This Look, is going to be big fun. This poster's amazing. Yeah. John Hunt made the poster. Very nice, John. John Hunt. Oh, he makes great stuff. Yeah. We've got Mary Cucciofello, Mother Banjo, Cole Diamond, uh, Doug Collins, and the receptionists. Sarah Morris. And Trailer Trash. Did I Look get everybody? It's a really, it's going to be a spectacular day of music. Doors at three, music at four. I think music goes till nine. So that is my kind of music. We go on at nine, so the oh, music will go to uh, at least ten. Probably ten thirty or okay. so. Okay. Just yeah, kidding. They're it's going to be great. It's going to be so good. you got to sit in with us. you got to do a song with us. I nice. will do that. I will drink extra coffee so I can stay up till 9. How about that? <laughs> That'd be great. Yes. Play fast. All right. So I've Love linked this. to that below. Okay. When we're on Toilet Tunes, I have to ask you a question. Okay. A couple questions. The first question is, Nate, will you tell me something good? Uh, uh, <laughs> something good? Me? Yep. Um, you know... Uh, I'm in love with this new guitar that I got. Mm. Uh, I like that. Um, but that's just me. Something folks might like is, you know what I really like is a yeah. bowl of pho. Pho is how it's pronounced. It's yeah. At P-H-O. Yeah. It's my favorite thing. Every week Where I do go you go out. I go to Pho 79. Okay. I go to Chu Chow. I go to... Uh, I used to go to Ngan Bistro. Oh my God, gone. I love that place. It's a good place. That... Mm. Where's another place to go? IFO is great. I've seen that place. IFO on University okay. Avenue. Where's Fo 79? It's on the corner. I can tell you. Tell me! It's tell us all. Raymond Avenue and Energy Park Drive in St. Paul. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I love food quests. I love like picking a thing that you like and then having it at lots of places. Yeah. So I'm very excited by this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I just got inspired by watching uh, Anthony Bourdain's uh, No Reservations and, you know, all these traveling shows and yeah. street foods. And yes. So, yeah, another great restaurant just went to is uh, Dosa in Bloomington that Ooh, a lot of people And it's, yeah. it's South Indian, like Sri Lankan. Yeah. Uh, what used to be called Ceylon. It's, it's South, Southern India. That sounds delicious. So spicy, so good. Really fun. Mm. I like it. I like that a lot. Anyway. That's a really something good. And I will say, you said the guitar early on. Yes. We can take a minute because people will like that too. It's got beautiful pegs. I just noticed that. Like that's <laughs> special, right? Like you don't often get the like kind of, oh. it actually matches my dress. It does. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell, but it does. So that was really nice of you to bring in something so matchy. You're very welcome. Orange and green are a great color combo, personally. Sure they are. I think so. Um, okay, well, those are very good things, and now I want some pho, but since we are still stuck in the bathroom, mm -hmm. we're not going to get pho right now, but I'm going to ask you another question. <laughs> Nate, where are you learning right now? Where am I learning? Where am I learning? Um, you know, there's a, uh, a, a, a YouTube channel that I watch a lot called Homeschooling that features a guitar player, a guy in Nashville, session player by the name of Tom Bukovac. Oh, I've who, seen that name before. And it's just interesting. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, he's coming out with all kinds of fun little uh, guitar ideas, mm -hmm. but it's also his philosophy of playing and, you know, a lot of my psyche is caught up in the business of making music, 
uh, show business in general. And, yeah. and he's just got a lot of great practical advice. And it started uh, three, four years ago when he was in the middle. Uh, his, his session work stopped because of COVID. So he started doing these things. So uh, it's homeschooling. Cool. Uh, we can put it on the... I'll link. There we go. I can yeah. do that. Uh, you said show business, which made me think like you actually are in show business and you're a musician. You're in both things. Do you feel like, as I say that, are you like they're kind of separate things or do you feel like they're always, I mean, like how does that function in your life? They are separate, but they are together. Mm -hmm. Show business is two words. You have to have the show, you have to have the business, mm -hmm. but they go together. I mean, we all get into this life. Because of an affinity for music, mm -hmm. you know, we have a sensibility, sort of a, a like a, an idea of like, oh, that sounds like something I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. And then you're just trying to find a place to plug in. Mm -hmm. Like, where do I take this? You know, uh, wh what do I do? Do I record? Do I write? Do I... And, you know, just tr everybody's trying to figure out a place to play. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what it's all about to me, whether you are on a local or a statewide or a national level, it's all a matter of trying to find where you fit. Yeah. And that is a, that's a business thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you're looking for where supply meets demand, you know, that equilibrium point to me is rock and roll. That's, that's the whole thing you're looking that's for. That's good. Was it a leap for you to get into it? Like when you got into, cause like I said, you, you book things as well as you perform. So like when you, was it, was it a really natural fit for you to, to journey into that process? You know, thanks for asking because <laughs> that's something I've asked myself too. It's like, why the heck do I care about all this? And the reason why is because I like to hear my band play. Yeah. I want to find a place to play. Yeah. And I want to take the crowd all the way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I, I don't want to half step this. Right. Well... Some guys, when I was coming up, I was in all these original bands, you know, mm -hmm. some guys got record deals. Mm -hmm. I got a bar deal. <laughs> you yeah. know, I was like, okay, I'm the guy with the gig. And then everybody comes and plays. And, you know, we've had dozens and dozens of guys playing Trailer Trash over yeah. the years. So that's just my fate. That's my destiny. That's a good The guy show. with the gig. And then that turned into, you know, booking Lee's Liquor Bar. Which turned, I booked the 400 Club for a year. That was kind of crazy. Um, and then, you know, other places. I did promotions and what all. And then it turned into working at the State Fair. Which is a great place. Our State Fair is a great State Fair. It's a great State Fair. It's a great place to work. It's it also uh, a really fun fair. Unusual fair. In the world of fairs, there's not as much. I'm just going to boast about the Minnesota State yeah, Fair. Yeah, let's do it. And I'll just say, there is more entertainment per square foot. Per capita, <laughs> per corn dog, per any there's more per entertainment mm -hmm. at the Minnesota State Fair than you'll find in any fair anywhere okay. in the world. It's awesome. I swear. So if you are watching from another place, like Roberto, if you ever need an excuse, Roberto, to come up to Minnesota, come during the fair. Please Wiley. come. Uh, those are some of our friends that watch from Roberto, Minnesota. you're welcome to come to the Minnesota State Fair. Mm -hmm. Wiley, please come to the Minnesota State mm -hmm. Fair. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, that's where are you learning is like right now where are you learning and where you could homeschool and we did yeah. diverge. But then the next question that goes hand in hand with that is for you, Nate, what is the steady beat of it? The thing that you return to over and over again, should you need returning? And thank you for asking. This is that thing that it really made me think. And there is an artifact, a little piece of information oh, yes! that I found. Here, we're going to put it in. Oh, Shh. yeah. And, uh... I it's, just overlaid it. Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. Then this is a, uh, how do oh, I say yes. this? Somehow I stumbled across this years ago. Yeah. It's a page from the notebook of the late and great Thelonious Monk, the, the great jazz pianist yeah. and composer. And so influential. And it is a revelation because it's so simple mm. and it's so down to earth. I mean, here's a guy you'd think would be pretty... Uh, esoteric or uh, maybe hard to, you know, inscrutable in a kind of way. But this is very practical advice. Like he just says, uh, when you're playing in a band, make the drummer sound good. I love that. Uh, you know, if you, if you play along with the drummer, listen to the drummer and play with the drummer, the band will sound tight. That's, That's like true. such great practical advice. Then it goes on and on. There's more stuff in there. I love that. So I've 
overlaid it. There it is. There it is. And uh, maybe I'll see if I can find some other way to share it. I don't, is it linkable, do you think, somewhere? Do you think it lives yeah, somewhere can, on the internet? You can Google up Thelonious Monk Notebook okay. and you'll find it. And it's practical okay. advice. I admire you. You're a band leader. You do a great job of leading a group. Oh, thank you. I just let them boss me. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we're, we're a team. We're a team, but yeah. That's a, that's a little <clears throat> Jedi mind trick you do. It's very good. No, you're good. And, <clears throat> you know, um, it's... Uh, it really is, that's, this, this is what I'm getting back to the business of show business. Mm -hmm. This is like how to lead a band, how to be a bandsman, a band's person, yeah. bands, a band's lady. It's good to, I feel like, you know, there's so much when you fall in love with music and you say, I want to go do music. Like there's so much that you have to learn on the job. That's the yeah. only way. You don't get to learn it in school. You got to do it. You have to learn it by living it. Which is getting gigs. Yes. And it's an uncomfortable process because you're learning in front of people. You actually right. are signing up to do all of your learning in yep. front of people. And it's really nice when someone like Thelonious Monk comes along and offers you something to, you know, when things feel swirly and swimmy and you can say, ah, some rules to live by. Yeah. Like, a, like this is a, a compass. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. It's a guide. Um, but yeah, you do. You have to put yourself out there, and that means uh, failing. Yes, in front of people. In front of people, and so that's a good thing. It, it, is. it is so hard to do that. Speaking as one who's crashed and burned in front of a live audience so many times. Oh my gosh, so many times. I like <clears> the. Have you ever heard? Probably you have. But fail is a faithful attempt in learning. Ooh. Wow. Well, there you go. I like that one. You know. Sometimes um, I say that to my kids, and they just go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, kids don't want to hear about authenticity, growth. Okay, I'm growing. Oh, it's so painful. Well, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and it goes for other things too. If you're a photographer, you mm -hmm. got to get a show. If you're a painter, you need a show. Put your stuff up on a wall and let people look at it. If you're a, a, a dancer, you, a recital, all these things are important. That's how you grow. That's how you yes. get better. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's true. Thank you for sharing that one. The next one, I know you get to hear lots of music because you book things. And so people send you their music all the time. So yeah. you should have something for this. We're going to ask you to spin us out to something that your ears are hearing that are like, they're hot for. Something that's like really getting you inspired oh, man. from a musical, from a listener perspective. Wow. Well, you mean uh, something contemporary? No, just anything you're listening to anything. right now. I mean, okay. what's current for you? Doesn't have to be current for other people, but like what, what's inspiring your ears? <sighs> yeah, there is so much out there. Uh, it's so much terrific stuff. Um, uh, I really liked the record that you put out a little while ago. Oh. No, you, seriously, you've Thanks. just, you've... Is that because I made you that good coffee? Th it is, totally. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I love to see my friends working and putting out records. Mm -hmm. uh, the Suburbs put out a great record uh, yeah. a year ago, uh, Poets Party. Um, no, locally there's so much great music happening. Um, for me personally, what I go back to, uh, I go back to Graham Parsons, I go back to Buck Owens, I go back to Merle Haggard, yeah. I go back before that to uh, Bob Wills um, mm. and the Texas Playboys. It's, it's just great music that I'm always learning from. And then, I mean, my tastes are not just country and, and folk. I mean, I go into, uh, uh, I mean, I'm, uh, originally it was punk rock for me that got me into it. And yeah. so I, you know, I, I'm always interested in stuff. Um, I'm always fun. It's, honest music is where I'm at. I want authentic, real communication. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it started with Woody Guthrie for me when I was a kid. Oh, Pete Seeger, okay. stuff like that. Um, that's. You've listened to some music in your life is what I just gathered by that list of names. I'm a music addict. <laughs> I am. 100%. What's a punk act that was like a first, just one? Um, <clears throat> probably the first, you know, you had your Coke and Pepsi, which is... The Clash, I'm, and the Sex Pistols. Mm -hmm. um, I fell more onto the Clash side. Okay. Because it was kind of obvious after a while that Sex Pistols were not going to put out a whole lot of music. They were just going to be a whole <laughs> lot of attitude. Um, but then, you know, I just came, I got into um, a whole lot of that stuff. Uh, B-52s were immensely inspiring mm. to me. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, but Joe Strummer's lyrics... 
uh, from the clash and I got, you know, way into all that. Um, I'm still, you know, before that you go back to Woody Guthrie and, uh, I love that song. Um, <laughs> all you fascists are bound to lose. There's a good Ooh, Woody I don't Guthrie know that one, but Look you are, for up. sure. All I'm you fascists it. bound to lose. That's a good punk rock number. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's what I'm going to link to below. I'm going to put some of this list here, but the link you're going to get is for that song. <laughs> that's what we're going to say. You're spun out too. Uh, Nate, this is really special to get to spend time with you in my big green bathroom. Well, pleasure's all mine. Thank you. I know you're returning to the office shortly after this. Uh, I'm going to tell you again about some sponsors. Are you ready for this? One of the sponsors, actually, we're going to do a small video. So... I am at the Wyoming, I get this wrong every time, Wyoming Area Center, creative. oh darn it. What's well, all right. No, I, I, Wyoming Area Creative Arts, Arts Community. Community. WCAC, does anyone call w it that? WCAC. 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 Um, I've been doing it wrong. Anyways, they're our sponsorship in kind. We've been talking about them for weeks now. This is Breeze. Breeze, what's your job at Wackack. Uh, well, I'm one of the volunteers for many years and I'm one of the gallery directors and I curate the music program. Which is the fourth Thursday of every month. Last Thursday of every month. Oh, it's the last. The last, last so Thursday. So if you get a fifth Thursday? We've had Thanksgiving run into us before. We can't do that. So this year, actually, there won't be last Thursdays of Thanksgiving, so we won't be here. I got you. Uh, so when I talk about you, I'm in my bathroom, which is green. We're in your bathroom, which is a beautiful blue. blue and man. look at art. Yes, we have art. And you don't need to show it, but we do have a brand new toilet. <laughs> well, hey, arts funding. That's, yes, it that's is. a good thing. Uh, I just want to thank you for thank being you. a sponsorship of Toilet Tunes. And I love talking about you all, and you all talk about Toilet Tunes. And thanks for bringing people together for music. Well, we appreciate all the efforts that you do. And the, you know, the thing about Toilet Tunes is it's about songwriting and songwriters. And that's what our show is about. It's always original music. And it's being giving everyone a nice venue to play, but also enjoy. So the people of Wyoming, it's not that far away. We really yeah. enjoy it. We just need to have 40, 50 people here. Um, but sometimes we're outside in the summer. Most of the time, we're actually on a stage, not in this bathroom. Well, Sarah. I mean, the bathroom sounds good. Okay, one last thing. When we're on Toilet Tunes, I always ask people to tell me something good. So will you tell me something good? Tell me something good. Wow. Because wow. mm -hmm. that's how it goes, right? Yeah, it is how it goes. Well, I took, there's a lot going on with this art center. Uh, we're doing a lot for the senior community and the children. Right now we have 294 pieces on display. I suppose this isn't always good for a long-term thing, but just so you know, every month we have something good. We have a new art show and a new songwriter, so that's something good. It's pretty spectacular, and you're open five days a week. Is five days that? a week. Tuesday, Tuesday through Friday, noon to uh, 2 to 8, and noon to 6 on Saturdays. Wyoming Area Creative Arts Community. Correct. I was pronouncing it Wakak. Have you ever been to Wyoming, Minnesota? I sure have. Yes. Lovely Wyoming, it's Minnesota. Lovely Wyoming. Uh, and then we're going to thank Window MN for getting us caffeinated. I believe coffee fuels dreamers. And I believe people who make, who decide to roast coffee, they're dreamers too. And like That's Tim, cool. when I got to talk to him, you know, like he's very passionate about being closely aligned with the farmer. You know, he could tell you the story of the farmer that made the coffee. I want less degrees of separation between my coffee plant and my mouth. All right, then. But I want some. I don't want to, like, eat a coffee plant. And also, that got awkward. Okay. The <laughs> last sponsor, and they are not the least. They are my big, big loves. These are the Sarah subscribers over at Patreon. Thank you, thank you for making it possible for me to guess I'm going to cover Nate's face for just a minute. <laughs> for me to do things like invite people into my big green bathroom and they say yes because I don't know why they say yes but I think it's because of you subscribers I've got to reach this poster we will see you <laughs> at Twang Fest on May 11th awesome and before that you can go get your dance on on April 26th at Green Room Uptown Uptown funk you up <laughs> Nate Duggan Thanks so much, Sarah. I'm Sarah Morris. Stay toilet tunes.